Hi, I'm Javier, and I'm going to show you how to use the new uh, Google Android API version 2. Um, and I'm just going to step through the uh, Google Maps, I mean the uh, tutorial here on Google. And so first thing we need to do is just create an application. And I'm doing it in NetBeans. It's pretty similar to uh, Eclipse. I just find NetBeans so much more stable. Android project, let's name it Maps. Oops. Example, and we'll just do and make sure you choose the Google API. Oh, everything looks good. All right, go ahead and clean this just to get rid of this error. All right, looks good. <clears throat> so first thing it says, download Google Play services. So let's make sure we have that installed. And the way you check is you open up the SDK manager and you scroll to the very bottom Make sure you have this installed as well. Um, Google Play Services looks like it's installed. Okay. So it says to configure it, and the way you do that is you open up your project and you place the Google Play Services library right here in the project in the project slash libs directory and let's do that it's oh that was weird and this is where and you find it in your Android SDK folder and you go to extras google google play services library um library project and the oops this is the folder you want so just copy it and go back to your directory that you're working in and place it in the libs folder all right and the way you add that is <clears throat> you come over here you go to libraries, add, search for my directory. Um, and there it is. And then we have to, I think, I think it'll give you an error. Yeah. So the way to get rid of that is you come over here and you do, it's called an Android update. So what that means is you need to type Android update, oops, update, oop, update, and then library project, and then you give it the path. And let me see if I can do it this way. So it doesn't take so long. There we go. And there you go. Uh, so it configures it for you. And we should be able to build it now. Perfect. All right. The next thing we need to do before we finish is to, I think, Yes, we need, oops, we need to also add the, the G Google Play Services jar to the, uh, hold on, I'll show you. I'm just going to copy it and place it right in the, uh, right on the top, oops, right, in, right underneath the libs directory, so I'm just going to paste it right there. And it'll make it easier just to add it in the project later, and you'll see why. 
and I'm going to go back to my SDK folder, go to Tools, Support, oops, sorry, it is Support, but Support, and then, sorry, let me go back and I'll do that slower. It's your SDK folder, Tools, oh, I did it again. SDK folder extras Android support and then version 4 and that's way over here <clears throat> I'll just copy that and let's go back to our directory and just paste it right there and let's make sure it references correctly and there it is. Your support and your play service is perfect. Cool. So there it is. Everything's ready to roll. Let's see if it builds. Should build. All right. So step one is officially done. Next thing we'll do is we'll create and obtain an API key.